I'm Dr. Willard Shum. I'm retired from SUNY Oswego. We're in the Safe Haven Museum at Fort Ontario on the lake in Oswego. This house was the gatehouse for the army post that was here and later became the administration headquarters for Joseph Smart, who ran the refugee center and the office for Ruth Gruber, Dr. Ruth Gruber, who had brought the refugees here to this country. 1944, the refugees were recruited in Rome, Italy, went to Naples, came by convoy to the United States and came here to Fort Ontario, which was vacant at the time. President Roosevelt felt that this was a suitable place to bring 984 refugees. They arrived here by train, not knowing where they were going, arrived here in the morning and were greatly disturbed when they saw chain link fence with barbed wire on top and military police at the gate. They screamed aboard the train and they said, we're being sent to a concentration camp. And Dr. Gruber and some of her associates quieted them all down and they said, no, this was not true. And people came to the train and began offering them milk and fruit through the train windows and everything changed. They were very, very impressed because everything was waiting for them all done alphabetically, and they lived in old army barracks that weren't in very good shape, made into little apartments, usually two rooms, and uh, uh, with a toilet at the end of the barracks, like it, army barracks are. But they were, they were happy to be here. One woman cried when she saw the apartment, and Dr. Gruber said, why are you crying? It's Spartan, but at this time it's the best we can do. And she said, I'm crying because I haven't seen sheets on a bed in five years, and I'm excited. They were impressed that everybody was assigned to an apartment, and, every, and what meager luggage they had all arrived, and so they were, they were very pleased to be here. Was very, very active here because the refugees, according to the way they, they came to this country, were supposed to return to Europe at the end of the war. They had nothing to go back to at the end of the war. Joseph Smart was the, uh, the director, the administrator for the refugee center. And uh, he was speaking to uh, groups of local people and refugees uh, about what was going on here. And there was a group of citizens in the United States that lobbied to get them to stay here. Eleanor Roosevelt, she came to Oswego with the congressional uh, committee and lobbied to allow the uh, refugees to stay. The thing that's fascinating, and most people don't know, this is the only refugee center in the United States during all of World War II. We had ships turned away with Jewish refugees that were not allowed to land, and this was it, 982. 874 were Jews. Uh, the rest were assorted Christians. And, and this is it. And most people don't know this. It's a very small part of American history, but most important, you know, this is it. This is all. The bad part is this is all we did. We brought roughly a thousand. We have people here who were scientists helping. Uh, one of the people here helped develop on the team developing the CAT scan. We had another person here who worked dismantling atomic weapons in Russia for the American government. Uh, we've had people who, uh, doctors and lawyers who have made their mark in this country with a thousand, less than a thousand people. What could we have done had we opened our gates to more? <laughs>